I now give the floor to Mr. Jean-Pierre Lacroix. Floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the Security Council meeting on the occasion of the head of the Military Components Conference here in New York. I will be brief, as the purpose of today's meeting is for you to hear from these distinguished force commanders. I thank the Presidency of the United Kingdom for organizing this interactive discussion. I it will focus on the role of the military components in the protection of civilians in peacekeeping operations, building on the recent open debate of the Security Council on the POC in armed conflict during Protection of Civilian Week. This annual gathering of the force commanders of our peacekeeping operations in the, is a very important occasion. It provides an opportunity for in-depth exchanges between them and diverse actors at UN headquarters with a view to continuously improving the impact of UN peacekeeping. This week, they have engaged on varied topics from mandate implementation to the safety and security of peacekeepers, from reflections on the women peace and security agenda to leveraging technology to counter emerging threats as well as cooperation with host nations, the importance of strategic communications, the continuing efforts to prevent and respond to sexual exploitation and abuse, and initiatives to reduce the environmental footprint, to name just a few. This week also provided them with an opportunity to remain closely apprised of the major discussions and expectations on peacekeeping in this Council, as well as in the 334, the Fifth Committee, and other uh, bodies. I, and ultimately our collective effort to enhance the impact of peacekeeping in the field and in the framework of action for peacekeeping plus strategy is, of course, uh, these efforts are more important than ever. Mr. President, the topic that the Security Council has chosen for today's discussions, the role of military components in the protection of civilian through prevention and response is a key one for the importance of peace operations. I trust that this session will be most informative and beneficial to all of us. You will shortly hear from the Force Commander of the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, ANMIS, Lieutenant General Mohan Subramanian, the Force Commander of the Mission de l'Organisation des Nations Unies pour la Stabilisation République Démocratique du Congo, MONUSCO, Lieutenant General Otavio Rodriguez de Miranda Filio, and the Head of Mission and Force Commander of the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL, Major General Araldo Lazaro. Their experience and insights, I'm sure, will be most useful for the Council in your work. Lastly, in this occasion, through these heads of military components, I want to recognize the work accomplished every day by all the military women and men serving in the United Nations peace operations in very diverse contexts for the cause of peace. I would like to particularly salute the peacekeeper serving in MINUSMA as the mission undertakes its withdrawal in conditions that remain challenging, including regarding security. I thank the 125 member states who provide uniformed personnel to UN peace operations, and I also want to pay tribute to the men and women who have fallen in this service of the United Nations. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. It continues to drive us and inspire us in our continued efforts for the cause of peace. Thank you. I thank Mr. Lacroix for his briefing. And I now give the floor to Lieutenant General Mohan Subramanian.